we have not two pieces of gear. Sometimes we'll use several pieces of gear. And so, now. Oh, double security. Well, no, it's not double security. Say these were cams and bolts or, or pecans or something. These are bolts, so we can get away with two bolts. Well, sometimes we'll use four or five, six pieces of gear to build one anchor, right? Because an anchor isn't an anchor until it's bomb-proof. And bomb-proof, by definition, can't fail under the forces that we can generate from climbing. And here's a place where an overhand is nice because I just don't have enough rope. And so now I have three pieces equalized. The exact same thing, right? I built it the same way, except now I draw between the two and equalize in three places. But why were you concerned about three places now? Because I'm using, I'm not using bolts that are drilled that are 5,000 pounds a piece. This piece might be a cam in a manky crack yeah. with shattered rock and it'll only hold 400 pounds. Yeah. This might be a wired nut but it's too small. It might shatter the limestone and it might only hold 75 pounds. And this one might be a really good cam and I want to bring the three together yeah. to build an anchor as opposed to don't get the idea just because these are bolts. They're bolts that are a different thing altogether, right? Mm -hmm. When we're talking bolts. Climbing is, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean you're always going to come up to and have a bomb-proof anchor. The type of climbing you've been doing, yes, you're going to. But you've never built your own anchor or seen an anchor built out of gear yet, right? All you've seen is established roots. Uh, you did one time building. Well, maybe I did one, but you saw like one, right, or something. Or, and one was consistent with a bolt, where the bolt was probably good enough. Yeah, you the, used the... The backup cam was just a backup, right? So now I try equalizing three pieces. 